Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Ms. Garage. Today, we're going to be doing a tour of my McLaren MP4 12C. All right, so for those that are new to my channel, uh, I do mostly DIY, you know, do it yourself. I'm trying to save you money on you know, how to repair, you know, the different cars. Uh, on my channel, I've had an Escalade, a uh, Mini Cooper that I'm working on right now, um, a Porsche 911, um, several different cars. I have a Tesla P90DL, and now uh, new to my channel, new to uh, my household, new to my garage is my McLaren MP4-12C. Um, if you don't know much about the MP4-12C, the 12C is a V8 twin turbo. Uh, it's pushing about 616 horsepower, 443 foot-pounds of torque. It's a 3.8 liter V8. And it does really well you know i've had it now for um, a couple of weeks now i've had it out on the open road um, you know a couple of issues that i'm working on with the car i had the turn signal that was repaired um, if you watch some of my other videos you can see the process of uh, getting those things resolved um, but the car is is amazing you know i'm pretty happy with it so far you know i've only had it a couple a couple of weeks i've already put probably about three to four hundred miles on it and uh, honestly the winter's coming around so most likely I won't be putting too much but i just wanted to take some time today uh, to give you a little tour i haven't given a tour to the channel yet i know uh, i've been busy working on a mini cooper i'm trying to get that done for the winter because i need to get it wrapped before it gets too cold uh, to start working in my garage and things like that but uh but today we're going to talk about the mclaren mp4 12c all right as you can see the mclaren is you know some people like it some people don't the front of it i think the newer mclarens i definitely am liking the look of the front bumper the rear of the mclaren I absolutely love um, you know in the front personally I actually like it a lot you know and this is that this is actually a spider model uh, and it doesn't really detract from the 0 to 60 0 to 60 on these are, are somewhere I think McLaren rated at 3.0 seconds but most of the tests that I've seen online are 2.7 2.8 range um, so it's pretty fast uh, it's a really fast vehicle and the convertible top is a hard top it goes down uh, at the push of a button and and i love that it's the first hard top convertible that i've ever owned and um, we'll go ahead and i'll show you how that works all right so here you have the uh, mp4 12c and the first thing you're going to notice um this car was optioned out with a lot of different options you know one of the options that it has was the carbon fiber mirrors it has the carbon fiber veins down here uh, which were really expensive option i think that was like a ten thousand dollar option um, from the factory and then as we go around the back of the car um, I personally love the back I love the center exhaust that are, is on these mp4s uh, mp4 12 c's you have your air brake which is a wing that comes up whenever you brake hard and uh, it's pretty amazing to watch the only bad thing is when in your rear view mirror it'll block your entire view on the rear whenever you whenever you put those brakes on the color is amazing I love this orange and you can see it kind of changes depending on the lighting. You know, it comes from like a yellowish to a really deep orange, uh, depending on the light. And of course you have the, the wings that come up, uh, the doors, something that's very, very much McLaren. And obviously was most, mostly known with the Lamborghinis. And we'll go into the interior. The interior is also optioned out. You have the carbon fiber uh, all throughout the interior. You got the Alcantara. So you have the seats that are have the inserts and as well as the roof is also uh, Alcantara. Uh, you have your, win your window that comes down whenever you put the top down. And we'll show you that in a second. All right, so you can see, you know, the way that the top comes down. It's pretty sleek. I love the way the spider looks. And this is another thing is that you can, you can see it's all carbon fiber. So this is all one piece. It's a, it's a uh, 
the top is completely carbon fiber and that's something that McLarens are known for. It uh, saves a lot of weight and there's definitely a lot of carbon fiber throughout. There's carbon fiber on the front lip of the vehicle. You'll see the engine with the convertibles. You can just see a little bit, which is kind of funny. The only thing, when you look at the, uh, the door here, you're gonna have a couple of controls. And this image for the tonneau cover, which is actually this piece here. This piece here lifts up when the top is not down and you can actually store things um, right in here. So that's another storage uh, compartment for you that I guess the convertible has. Uh, so here's the trunk release. You can call it a trunk. So you're gonna have your McLaren engine cover, your twin turbos on either side, one on the other side. You're gonna have your coolant here. You know, this is just a little coolant cover. And you know, a lot of heat shields for the exhaust. This exhaust comes straight back and it comes out the center. Now we're gonna go into the inside of the vehicle. Now getting in is tricky. And usually I just stick my foot in and just slide down into it. It's tricky and you gotta get your foot in. All right, so this is the interior of the vehicle. The different functions, this is what really the, the, the McLarens are known for. When you're driving, um, you can go ahead and you can actually select you know different things different options for the transmission and the suspension this is h for handling and p for powertrain so that you have normal handling so it'll be a, a softer ride a little stiffer and then you have track which is the stiffest ride then you have the transmission this is for shifting it'll shift at higher rpms and it'll be a more aggressive transmission uh, so you have normal sport and track for that so in order to use this when you're driving you just select the active button and then you can actually uh, choose dial in you know your suspension and your powertrain you know winter mode cuts the power by a certain percentage um an increased uh slip you know traction control launch is like launch control when you want to launch the car and what it'll do and i'll do a video later on is when you launch the car it'll you put the you you set the brake you know and then after you pit launch you hit the, you hold the brake down then you slam on the gas and what it'll do is it'll build boost with the turbos and once the uh, turbos are in boost, it, you can let go of the brake pedal and it will just launch. Um, I've tried it once since I've had it. It's pretty amazing, but I'm, you know, I have it on my Porsche 911, so it's something that I'm familiar with. And then from there, the gear selectors, um, instead of um, having a lever to select, you just put it into drive, put it into neutral, or put it into reverse. Um, you have your convertible top control. Um, that's for your trunk, the front trunk. And then you have uh, for the window, the window can, uh, this little window here can kind of go up or down. And, and this is to lock your doors. Then you have your iris system that you can connect. Uh, it won't go through Bluetooth. Only telephone will connect to Bluetooth, but you can connect your phone through a cable, which is just hooked up down into this glove box um, or center console. And then you can actually, um, you know, have your music displayed and it'll show the album cover and everything else from uh, from an iPhone anyways. There is no there is no glove box uh, in these. There's a little thing here for like a manual or something for your papers. The cup holders are in under, underneath. So that's something that's interesting, cup holders. And for those that haven't been able to find their cigarette lighter, it's uh, somewhere back here. I found it the other day. So that's going to be uh, right back here. And from there, this has a meridian system and, you know, it's every, there's carbon fiber absolutely everywhere uh, in this vehicle. Um, your steering wheel is also carbon fiber. You know, so there's carbon fiber everywhere. You know, and I just got it uh, with 16,000, I think 100 miles. So I put over 400 miles on it so far. Here's your controls for your windows. And one interesting thing is the the controls for the air conditioning are on either side, either door. So you have one there and you have one right over there. And once this controls the fan and this controls the actual temperature. And so you have air conditioning auto. You turn that off. So you have your paddles here for shifting. You can shift and it's, it's cantilevered. So you can, when you, when you pull on this one, the other one moves either way. So this upshift downshift 
and then you have your turn signals which i didn't have on this car because it had broken off so we have turn signals now and that's working you know this is for your controls for your system you can go through your settings you can go through your information for your vehicle All right, so to open the doors, you just pull that and push up and they go up. Now getting out of this is interesting. So I'll show you how you get your feet out, one foot out, then the other foot. And then I just sit on this ledge here. All right, so I'm gonna show you what getting into this thing looks like. Normally I put one foot in and just slide in and then bring my other foot in. So it's pretty comfortable and it's pretty roomy once you're inside. Um, but getting in and out is not like my Porsche 911, you know. But it's, a, it's an incredibly fun car to drive and it's super comfortable. Getting out, I don't want to scratch anything. So I grab my foot, I put that out. I grab the other one, swivel. Excuse me. I just sit here and go up. So it's interesting to say the least. All right, so we're gonna go and we're gonna pop the trunk. I'm gonna take a look at our trunk. It's a pretty decent sized trunk. I think it might even be bigger than my Porsche 911. Um, you know, there's a tool kit back there. Your cabin air filter's there. Your battery's actually underneath there, uh, underneath that tub. So you gotta take a lot of screws out. Um, you got your windshield wiper fluid, your, um, your brake fluid, and then you have your power steering fluid uh, right over there. All right, so that's gonna be it for the tour of the McLaren uh, 12C. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Got a lot of stuff coming up for the channel, so just stay tuned. There's, you know, the Mini Cooper's almost done actually. Um, so if you're following that, uh, don't worry. I still have a lot of content with the Mini Cooper coming up. But the 12 Cs is hopefully gonna be doing a lot of things uh, coming up in the future, and hopefully eventually, you know, get an exhaust and uh, things of that sort. Um, but for now, I'm just enjoying it in stock form, and that's plenty of power uh, so far. So I just want to thank you all for watching. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and uh, let me know what you think. Y'all take care.